Hi, ladies. Welcome back to another success interview. My name is Heather Pillow. I'm an executive director with Pure Romance. And this week, we are going to be talking with a rock star consultant out of Front Royal, Virginia. She's been in business over four years now and is on President's Club currently. She's shooting to hit it again. She is the stay-at-home mom of one grown child and one child who is currently in middle school. She'll tell you all about them. And I am super excited for you guys to get to see her in action because those who know her, love her, and those who have worked with her know her as the girl who puts together the amazing graphics for much of our team. So let's meet Donna Spindle. Hello, Donna. Hi. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Thanks for having me. Oh, good. Okay, so tell us a little bit about yourself. I am the oldest of seven children. My parents were married for 54 years, so I know nothing but loyalty. Um, so I love wholeheartedly and with every fiber of my being, with everything that I do. Um, I have a super sweet 14-year-old boy who thinks that, I don't know, so many girls that he sees on our team, especially he is a Tiffany fanatic. He <laughs> sees Tiffany and Sam's like, hey girl, how you doing? I like your nails. So he's, he's a 14 year old boy. Um, he's doing very well in school right now. He's actually having the most successful year thus far since he started. Um, he's my super special needs guy. So he is a lot of hands on, which is how I fell into this business to begin with, because I needed to have more time with him and at home. And I have a 26 year old daughter who is the light of my life as well. And she has a six-year-old diva granddaughter, um, Trinity, that you all see po me post pictures of, as well as I have a brand new baby boy grandson coming in January. So you'll stay tuned for that. How fun. They are so sweet. That, uh, that Trin, she's a diva. She is. Okay, so tell the girls about how you got into the business. Um, I used to be an office manager, bar manager, and bartender. And um, my brother passed away, which is how I got Sam, my son. Um, he came to live with me when he was still in diapers, and he was very challenging as a person. Um, and every night that I went to work, he ended up having what they then found out was a small seizure in, in class the next day. So his teacher and the administrators of the school came to me, and they said, you're going to have to quit your job. And my biggest worry was, oh my God, you know, I really want him to be okay, but who's going to pay our bills? Like, who's going to pay the, the house payment? And who's going to buy groceries? I still have to feed him, but I, I had to do what was best for him first. So I quit everything and I stayed at home where he and I work 24 hour a day love for about two and a half years. And then I had a friend stop by and say, put your boots on, you're leaving the house for for a few hours, he'll be fine, I promise. You're gonna go to a party with me. And the only thing that dawned on me was a field party with like a bunch of people drinking and I was like, oh girl, no. <laughs> no, I'm not in for that. So she said, put your boots on and let's go. And what we went to was a slumber party. And it was a ton of fun, um, but I didn't really meld and mesh with the consultant. She was super bright about the business um, and I had a lot of fun and then I went home. I listened to her stand up and tell us exactly how she made money in the business, which was super smart. And I was like, that's fantastic. You know, that'd be something to think about. Well, I thought no more of it and I went back home and a few months went by and my same friend who didn't want to go to another one of these parties by herself came and said, put shoes on, we're going out again. And we went to another party where I met Tiffany Brooks. Tiffany Brooks laughed, had me laughing. I had been in the house at that point for close to three years with Sam. And Tiffany stood up there and told us how she was able to pay off $70,000 in student loan debt in about two and a half years. And I was floored. Like, I was laughing. She was making money. She was making money off of me for shopping. And I was like, Clearly, I'm on the wrong side of the tracks. So um, a few months that went by, you guys ended up going to um, convention in New Orleans and had come back and we saw all the posts about how much fun you guys were having and 
you guys were still making money hand over fist. And my same friend ended up calling, actually she called you, um, and got the information for us to attend your local business meeting. So we both arrived in Warrington or um, Haymarket at Giuseppe's and you guys were doing um, role playing that night. You had just gotten back and I was like, what the hell is wrong with these girls? This is so scary. I don't want to do this. But it was so smart because you had brand new consultants there that were able to work with seasoned consultants like yourselves and see that really people weren't going to eat them by talking to them. And what the, the worst that could happen was them to say no. No, thank you. It's not for me right now. And I was like, well, certainly if all of the women in this room are so smart and so bubbly and are all making money, I can do this too. So both of my and I signed up that evening. Um, and then we headed back home and we were just talking nonstop about what we were going to do. We had planned um, on attending your first training, which was at that point going to be in Atlanta, Georgia in August or September of 2011. And I was like, oh, I'm going to that. She bailed out. She never consulted. And I was still wanting to go, but I knew no one. I had only met the woman on this team one time. One time. And Tiffany said, if you really want to go, um, you can assist me at all my parties. And instead of paying you then, we can hold it all. And I can make sure that we find you a roommate. I can make sure that I find you a room, um, a way there, and all of this stuff. So that's how I got started. Um, and Tiffany hooked me up with getting to the first training, which is what ultimately exploded what I then saw as a real business. Got it. So from the time you signed up to the time that happened, what was the time lapse there? Um, June 6th, I became a qualified consultant. And that was in, it was either the end of August or the beginning of September of the same year. So like three months. Got it. Awesome. Okay. So, and I'm going to, I'm going to tattletale it just a little smidge so that the girls know that this was so funny. But when you came, I had never met you um, when you came <laughs> to the meeting. And I think I walked in really close to when the meeting was starting that day for whatever reason. It was kind of tight. Uh -huh. And I was looking around the room, we had a big crowd and my eyes landed on you and all your 27 tattoos and yes. all the glory. And I looked at Tiffany and I was like, who invited the hell's angel? Yes. And that is one of my favorite stories. And then you opened your mouth and that cute little squeaky voice came out. And I thought, oh my God, are you crazy? She's adorable. So yeah, I mean, you never judge a book by its cover because you clearly... Uh, we'll make a mistake like I did. So um, tell us about your first party. Um, my first party actually happened the night before my launch party. Once I had announced that I was a consultant with slumber parties, um, one of the cafeteria managers for a local school messaged me and she was like, I really need to place an order, but I would much rather have a party if you don't mind doing one so soon. I want to do it Friday. And this was like, a Monday and I'm like okay my launch party was the following Saturday I'm like sure let's give it a whirl so I jumped in I did her party there were eight women there who all were a ton of fun um, they were all much older than I was and I felt at first insecure because one I had never talked about this product in front of anyone at that point um, and everyone had much more life experience by at least 20 years than I did. And I was like, well, these ladies are not going to listen to me. <laughs> what do I know? You know, I'm brand new. I'm, Hey, look at my coochie. Doesn't it smell lovely? <laughs> and, um, they, we played some games. I laughed and had just as much fun as they did. Every single one of them placed in order and they are all still my clients four years later. Um, it wasn't a very high party. I think it was like $361, yep. but um, they all ordered, they all continued to have fun and they all still order to this day. So it's made its money over 10 times. And which kit did you start with? I started with the standard kit. Okay, so that first party paid back your, your investment. Absolutely. Nice, nice. Now tell us about your first um, team member. How did you find your first recruit? 
Um, my first recruit actually came to me through my husband's in-laws visiting. They had come up for a visit and I wasn't going to be home the first night that they were in town. I had a party and she asked me all sorts of questions when I got back about what I was doing, what kind of party, how I was doing it. And I informed her on everything that I had done and showed her the products that night when I had gotten back. And she was like, you make money at this? You get to talk about sex and you make money. And I was like, yeah, it's still like the greatest thing in the world. So um, she talked to her husband and he, again, like any other bright man, was like more sex, sex talk, sex product, we're in. And she signed up that night. Um, she didn't end up staying long for her as a consultant because where she lived, there were probably 12 different toy stores in a mile radius of her home. And although they didn't sell coochie, the products that they would have been coming for, like the toys and things like that, they found to be much cheaper at the store that she was at and they weren't too much worried about the fun. They were concerned with price points. So um, she's still a client to this day, but as a consultant, she, she, where she was and at the time in her life where her friends were more worried about price versus value or quality, um, it just, it wasn't very successful for her at that time. But she loved the business. She still loves the product. And I just immediately, all I was doing was talking about what I had just done. She simply asked where I had been and what I was I think we might be losing Donna. Donna, can you hear me? Doing oh, there you are. Sorry, you cut out there. Um, okay, so how long were you in business before you got your first promotion? Um, how long before my first? Yes. First promotion? How long before you got your first promotion? Um, I received my first promotion within six months of being in the business. Excellent. And what, what are you currently, what level are you? I am one active first member downline away from senior consultant or senior director. Oh, nice. Okay. Right on. Um, okay. So to date, what is your highest party sales ever? $2,100. Awesome. And, um, how many, do you remember how many women were there for that one? Um, there were nine women there for that one. I did a party two weeks ago. There were five women in attendance and it was a $1,300 party. Love it. Love it. That's a great per person. Now, conversely, what is your to date lowest party ever? $16. <laughs> you have me beat. <laughs> My numbers are reversed. Minus 61. Yeah. I love it. It was not a well-standing moment in my career with this business. <laughs> in the whole way home, all I could think was, what the hell did they come for? Right. Isn't that funny? And you know, if you have to, especially the new girls that are watching this who are like, ah, it, I look at it like a rite of passage. Like you wear that with pride, man. It's Absolutely. My lowest party, right? I mean, oh, yeah. It can only go up from there, ladies. It's <laughs> not exactly that much worse. <laughs> Exactly right. Okay, so tell the girls um, what it is that you think you do best in your business. I talk to people. I talk to all people. Um, I don't care what you're wearing, where you are, or how you look. If you seem like you're going to be a ton of fun, I want to talk to you because what I do is important for all women. It doesn't matter if you're 18 or 80, as it shouldn't matter for you because all women need our products. There are two types of women in this world, I heard Chris Chickadelli say. The women who use and love our and need our products and the liars, the yeah. ones who lie about using them. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty so, accurate. I don't want to deal with the liars. So anyone else that seems like a ton of fun, I just talk to everybody. I don't care if you're in the grocery store line and you have on a cute shirt. I'm going to tell you that I have a cute shirt on. And most of the time when I'm out and about, I have my name tag on. And if they don't say, hey, you forgot your name tag, they'll say, hey, what's your name tag for? Because it's all blinged out. Yeah. And I then go into telling them that I do fun parties for women like us because I'm fun too. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Um, let's see. What is it that you think that is, is an ongoing struggle or something that you're really trying to work on improving in your business? 
what I am trying to personally work on is not wanting it more for my girls when they sign on than they want it for themselves. Girl, I'm almost 10 years in. That, it's hard to get rid of that. <laughs> I know you just see so much potential in that. I do. I, I'm you like, you're amazing at this. Yes. Yes. And I see it, and sometimes they just don't see it in themselves. And I just, I want it more for them than they do because I see what they can do with it for what it's done for me. I agree. Agreed. Um, and what is it that you are working on right now for yourself or for your business? What are you excited to achieve in the coming months? Um, I am super excited to rejoin the ranks of the President's Club at the end of this year. And I am most excited about packing my calendar. I have added seven new parties just since the booking blitz started. Awesome. Um, an old teammate has rejoined with the re-enrollment fee right now. Great. And I am looking to add eight more women before the end of this year that are all actively healthy, healthily loving and running their businesses. Awesome. I have no doubt that those can all be achieved. So yay you, we'll be cheering you on. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with the girls before we're done? I just want to say that every one of you that are watching this have the potential to do exactly what you want to do in this business. If you only wanted a hundred dollars a month, a hundred dollars is what you're going to get. Dream big and stay with it because it can do anything that you want it to do. I had never left the East coast prior to this business. I've been to Vegas twice. I've been to Cincinnati, Atlanta, Dallas, New Orleans, which is an outstanding place if you ever need to go somewhere. And the sisterhood, I absolutely couldn't have made it in my life in the last two months without you all. Thank you, Donna. All right, we really appreciate it, girls. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.